The holidays are a time to feel and create joy. And what could be more joyous than the look on her face as she unwraps a stunning new jewelry piece from Blue Nile? How about getting 50% off your purchase? Blue Nile offers premium quality, priced below traditional retail. Their online experts are available 24-7 to answer any questions and make sure you've picked the perfect gift. For a limited time, you can get 50% off at BlueNile.com. That's 50% off at BlueNile.com. Hey guys, it is Ryan. I'm not sure if you know this about me, but I'm a bit of a fun fanatic when I can. I like to work, but I like fun too. It's a thing. And now the truth is out there. I can tell you about my favorite place to have fun. Chumba Casino. They have hundreds of social casino style games to choose from with new games released each week. You can play for free anytime, anywhere And each day brings a new chance to collect daily bonuses. So join me in the fun. Sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VTW. Void or prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18 plus. Tired of ads crashing your comedy podcast party? Good news. Ad-free listening on Amazon Music is included with your Prime membership. Just head to Amazon.com slash ad-free comedy to catch up on the latest episodes without the ads. Enjoy thousands of ACAST shows ad-free for Prime subscribers. Some shows may have ads. Hi guys, James here, your Dungeon Master. Just a quick one before we get started today. Firstly, Happy New Year to you, and hopefully 2021 will bring us better things than a lot of 2020 did. Uh, In this particular episode, we had a bit of a problem with one of our microphones, so the sound quality is a little off on Jeff's microphone. I promise you that apart from next week, where it was part of the same recording, all the audio quality from now on will be meticulously checked. So you won't have to listen to that kind of quality ever again. Trust me, it'll all be good. It's still very, very good, very, very listenable. We've polished it up as much as we can for now. So please enjoy this episode and next week's as well. And then it'll be back to the high quality you've come to know and love from us. See you in a sec. Previously on Roll Britannia, our host has been Meldown. Shall we go poke about the office? Uh, I think we should be invisible. Well, let's be invisible then. And we're invisible. Maurus Toskobble, what do you what do you know about him? I Miracles know. with Maurus? Oh, it's a marvellous show. It used to be on the sphere years ago. You seem surprised to see him that like you hadn't seen him in a while. Does his show not exist anymore? No, it went off the air years ago. I don't know what happened. There are rumours, of course. I don't want to hold on to a murder weapon. It was a terrible idea to take it. <laughs> I searched huh? for a hidden trap door or any kind of something that seems... Yes. Out of place. Yeah, you don't find any. Oh, we're nice. so shit um, to talk. There's a woman in there who's gushing over you. Honestly, look, <laughs> if you gave her any backstage information about the show, it would all come pouring out of her. <laughs> I'm going to search the room. Yeah, you find hidden at the back of one of the uh, bookshelves uh, a staircase leading down. I'm going to go down that staircase, and as I do, I'm going to touch Derek and make him light. Your jacket yeah, is now yeah. glowing. I heard the reason you were cancelled was because you accidentally killed the whole audience. And I'll, I'll creep up to her and whisper in her ear, out of earshot of <gasps> William. You remember the, the god that I was doing the show for? It was Odin? Yes, yes. Loki, who is my actual god, got a bit pissed off and fed up that I was doing stuff for his dad. He sort of lashed out. It wasn't me that technically killed them, but it was me that got them killed. Em, I didn't quite catch that. What? Nothing. All caught up? Good. Let's get back to the action. The last time we spoke... Two of you were heading down a newly discovered set of stairs, mm. and the other two of you had just, well, one had just revealed some information, the other one had just overheard some information. Who wants to go first? I think the information's quite pertinent, isn't it? We should probably pick up where we left off with that and reveal more of it. Oh, uh, you're not getting any more. <laughs> <sighs> A really slow start. Thanks for uh, yeah. 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 Thanks, for, thanks for listening, everyone. Uh, join us next week. <laughs> yeah. Usually have a little bit of back and forth there, but not tonight. Yeah. Just back. <laughs> Nothing else. <laughs> it's like, I'm sorry. Did I, did, do you just say no? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. No. 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 no more information from me. We can question no Lady Hansel. Nothing. Oh. <laughs> nice. 
Um, we can start with us if you like then. <laughs> well, it seems that way, doesn't it? Sure, yeah, let's get into it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's I've like hit a roadblock road. there, gents. <laughs> yeah. <Sorry>. yeah. <laughs> okay, so you're heading down a newly discovered set of stairs that you found behind the bookcase in the office where the murdered body no longer is. I mean, when you left it, you left it posed artfully on a sofa and it's no longer there. I thought, I think Burkeel mentioned about moving it or the guards moved it. Something. Did they? I don't know. I seem to remember. Oh. I don't know. You just you just blew you just blew past it last time. I told you they weren't. He wasn't there, and you went, "Oh, okay." And then look for a book. So yeah, but we just on the stairs we just we're going. We like do three hours up. of other like, content, and our brains were broken. <laughs> Yours, are, I had to run it. <laughs> uh, I had to deal with your shit. Yeah. Hey, Derek. <laughs> just before we go down these stairs, I know you're like you know, you're are you invisible? No, my jacket yeah, no, is glowing you're, quite you're heavily glowing, as I sort invisible. of take it off, take off this horribly glowing sort of blinding <laughs> light and just sort of fold it over my arm. <laughs> like a way should we um, Did you happen to see yeah. the colonel when we walked down just into this like, corridor? Just before we go down these stairs, did you, did you see him? Did you turn him invisible? I didn't touch him. I, you know, I, I generally tell people after I've touched them. I've after, touched. yes, but yeah. maybe you should work on that out. and do it before. <laughs> oh, oh. well, we yeah. can work on that another time. But he didn't really, well, he wouldn't have been able to ask. I couldn't have asked him, could I? So, no. But I haven't, either way, I haven't touched him. I haven't <laughs> he's touched dead, him. Hence the situation that we're in currently. But it wasn't me, so you didn't see him. He's I didn't gone. See him. That's weird, right? Yeah. Um, anyway, shall we check out this cellar? And yeah, I suppose it's not about really that a lot we can do about that. Yeah, <laughs> no, <laughs> not really. <laughs> bit of a weird tangent. <laughs> Felt like it was worth pointing out. Oh, somewhere. absolutely worth pointing out. But at the same just time, we probably have to go and look somewhere else. Let's just continue, Maybe he's yeah. down here. I agree. So, we could be. You know, could just well be scary. Be. We can avert this situation. Yeah. It's going to be weird. Like, well, you've got yeah. sunglasses, so. Well, he can't see me, so I'm fine. Yeah, it's true. But I meant. Just you. I meant for you him. lead the way. And then we could put him, like, puppet him. Never mind. It's a weekend at Bernie's. It's an older film. You you wouldn't have seen it, young lad. No, it was my mate Bernie. <laughs> we, we went for a weekend oh. at his, and uh, it, it was really mental. And he got his puppets out. He's a really good puppeteer. Right. Why? What are you on about? Um, never mind. Uh, what can I see in the <laughs> cellar? <laughs> oh, <it's> so weird. <clears throat> All this kernel touching. <laughs> Oh my god! Um, I think we should go down the weekend of Yeah. So you you get to Who the bottom of the that? stairs. <laughs> JK, I know. So you get to the bottom of the stairs, and you see in front of you a door, just a simple door with a big metal bar across it. The sort of bar that can slide back with a big sort of iron handle and. So something that you could easily lock from this side, but would be difficult to work out how to unlock from the other side. I'll open it. Yeah, isn't that okay. something? Oh, doesn't that sound like something? This sort of door looks like it might be keeping something in, don't we think? <laughs> so, is there any? <laughs> is, there, is there no like window in the door or any barred like opening in the door that you can look through? No window at all. Oh, that's solid. No. Is there, no, is there yeah. a bell? The I'm going to step back happen? away from the door and let Derek do his thing. I'm invisible. Okay. So I'm going to start by El Classico, I call this move. I'm going to check for traps. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, that is a all right, trap checking investigation. That's a 15. Uh, with a 15, you see that there are no traps. <laughs> can I have a quick... I, I want to roll for perception just to see if I can see anything like claw marks or anything that suggests some kind of dangerous thing might have entered or exited through this door or something. Oh, I'd also like to do a perception. I mean, to see if, if, I if can you haven't hear... opened the door yet... <laughs> oh, we haven't opened the door, anything... but it might be like the other side. Yeah, on this you side. Might have something like something like like oh, okay. Roll... Traps. Uh, okay, yeah. I'd like to, to see, see if I can perception. hear anything moving on the other side of the door. That's my perception. Okay, check. roll your perception checks. Oh, you try to see if somebody's going to scratch its way in. <laughs> I think, well, if Six. they're keeping something locked in somewhere, um, my perception, uh, eight. Both not good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, with an eight, yeah, you, you don't hear, uh, you hear nothing. 
Yeah, I'm death. I'm death. I've got death. Can <laughs> 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 I just walk over? Mark. Spot wizardry. Ow. Mark. <laughs> Ow. Oh, I didn't. Mark. 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 I didn't know. I. I didn't know you had lay on hands. I seem to be cured now. <laughs> anyway, shall we? It's not trapped, by the way. Shall we just open it? You, you do you, mate. I'll Are you? Watch. Okay. Creepy. Um, yeah, I'll open the. I'll, I'll brave you. Let I'll bravely let you. Okay, open you. The door. <laughs> he uh, bravely fled and ran away. <laughs> brave, brave. <laughs> brave Sir Robin, ran away, <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> uh yeah so you open you unbar the door and you swing it open and there is a dark room inside i have dark vision but you're also giving off a load of light so you can see i can see that's a good point yes. <laughs> Derek, we that go takes stealth out the equation doesn't it <laughs> Derek, just, just carrying an illuminated <laughs> jacket yeah if yeah. at any point, if at any point anyone sort of like questions you or threatens you, and you think it might be a bit, you want to just scare them, we can always use like that you have magical powers or you have like uh, a magical jacket. Yeah, yeah but I could like, like I could like lift something because I'm invisible and like threaten them, or yeah. I can help. You can like or pretend that you, you can, could, like, you know, or... alternately you could just do some magic that might convince them that <laughs> instead that of poltergeist, we have magical. <laughs> Instead of just lifting something up. Where the bants and that More so. <laughs> I heard what you did to Malrus. Right? And that right? woman. I know. Hilarious. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I wouldn't actually admit it. Um, oh. You know, it made me laugh when I was a bit stressed out. But uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm trying to impress Keth, you see. And that, that um, funny voiced man with the moustache. So, yeah. what do we see inside the room? <laughs> uh, is it just you in the room at the moment? Or I'm is, going or is the Jeff room. going? I'll, I'll, I'll you're follow, going. I'll okay. So, you're in a, uh, a, a, a simple room with pretty much no furniture in it, except along one wall, about halfway down the wall, all the way to the ceiling. So, sort of just about, yeah, about half of the wall to the, from waist height upwards. Uh, although, for Derek, I suppose it's sort of chest height upwards. Um, is a pane of glass, um, a, like <laughs> a, a glass clear pane wall. of glass, or uh, you? If you are you going to try and look through it? Uh, can I not look see through it from where I am? Uh, the yes, you you can, but the room on the other side is dark. Ooh. Okay, and the, oh, the, the a light switch. Oh, What's what a light of... switch? <laughs> Inspiration to you, sir. <laughs> you mean he a shakes his head. The dungeon master a... shakes his head. <laughs> uh, are there any other doors? Any anything into that room? There is a door at the far end of that wall. So the furthest end from the door on the way in, there is a door that looks uh, like it's. Sort of made of the same material of the wall, but it was a uh, it was very clearly a door handle. Ooh, what manner uh, of thing is behind uh, that uh, glass wall? Let's, let's open that door. Do you want to check the traps again? <laughs> no, the one okay. time I feel confident. <laughs> okay, I step. Back. Uh, and it's a shame you didn't check for traps because as you open that door, absolutely nothing happens. Yes, yes. there's a bear trap. Ah, <laughs> I shit myself. Um, a swarm of bees flies <laughs> at you and more than fifteen bees. <laughs> oh my god! Yes. No. I forgot. Precisely all about that. seventeen bees. Oh no! <laughs> Jeff, help me! I swap three bees away, oh, oh, and the rest sting you instead. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, oh, so god. opening this door. I've forgotten all about. Um, yep. <laughs> um, yeah, so did I. Until listen back. <laughs> um, uh, open oh. the door um, inside this new room. Uh, so, as you look into this new room, as you open the door <laughs> and you look inside this new room, What's behind door light number one springs into being in that room. Oh, the room is now illuminated. The ceiling itself is giving off this light. Derek goes. It's a very sort of goes. <laughs> does, the, <laughs> does does the light turn off? 
<laughs> no, no, it doesn't. Oh. Um, it's a very sort of uh, neon kind of light. It's mm. slightly, very, quite, quite, it's slightly white. uncomfortably bright. Yeah. Very white and nice. slightly uncomfortably bright. And in the center of this room is a metal table with nice. a chair on either side of the table. Nice. And, uh, and standing in the corner oh. is a gargoyle. Oh, sorry. An iron figure with some writing on it. Wander over to that then. Okay, Jeff, go on then. I am Derek's gonna, you going into the, are you are Derek's you going gonna, in the room? I'm Derek's gonna, yeah, I'm gonna I would like in. to I would like to look at the um This is glass. this is very important. I'd like Where? to look, I'd like to look at the glass Derek. I'm still in the room. <laughs> so, very important. Derek, you opened the door, this yeah. light turned on. What did you do? Um, did you step into the room? Did you go into the room? Did you go over to the table? Did you turn? I, I what did you do? I my head around. I saw the thing. I was about to step in. And I saw the thing and I was like, oh. Okay. Peek my head to see. I can't probably can't see the glass from here. But on our side, I can see through the glass, right? Uh, yeah, you, uh, on your side from the dark room, you can see into the newly illuminated room. But from this side, it is mirrored. Jeff. Jeff, I think there's a toy for you in there. Yeah, how big is the figure? Are we talking Lego figure? <laughs> or are we talking Action Man figure? Or are we talking Mannequin? Mm. Or bigger. I was rolling to see how long I have to be quiet for now. <laughs> it is 12 feet tall. Ooh. Ooh. Jeff, come yeah. and look what Daddy Derek has got for you. Oh God, that's terrifying! I don't, I don't, I don't like that nickname. Neither do I. <laughs> I don't want you to ever say those words in that order ever again. <laughs> um, what have you got? Jeff? And I'm just going to poke my head into the room. Well, I, I, I just wouldn't. Before I'm going to push him in the room. It's really. I'm going to push. I'm okay. going to push him in the room. <laughs> okay. Are you? Are you? Are you? Yeah. Are you, you pushing, him in the room? How are you pushing an invisible man? His, I know saying, where you yeah. are. Oh, so you're, you're talking. Feeling, yeah. So I basically came up next to you. You felt me, and now you've grabbed yeah. you've oh, me. Oh, I just don't gonna like how we felt you. you. <laughs> <laughs> gonna go okay. With my invisibility. This is for Except using you. magic on me. You know I don't like that, and I'm just gonna push. He bravely push fled and ran away, so Robin. <laughs> okay. So. Um, oh God. Fine. <laughs> you uh, you are in the room. Good luck, Jeff. You are in the room, Jeff. Can I go back out the room? You can certainly try. I try and go back to Derek and be like, Wait, what are you doing? You can't just be pushing me around. Push, push, push him again. <laughs> uh, g- Strength testing. I, I don't, I'm not happy about yeah, this. Yeah, go on. Five. Go on. Fight me. Five. Come fight Five. me, Derek. Oh. Me. You roll it a disc- Just uh, seen. Is this an invisible. athletics check? <laughs> Well, I think in order to, I think they just if we're going to go into the contest. You're going to have to roll to point. hit first oh. at disadvantage because you can't see him. Oh, this is good. This Fair I enough. like this. My disadvantage to hit is this plus strength or is this dexterity? Yeah, yeah, plus 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 uh, strength. I, I had to we're going for a shove. sacrifice quite a lot of my strength. <laughs> <laughs> um, so my total roll is. Uh, what was it? So by with dis, with disadvantage, it was a thirteen. So it's might be. Oh, actually, it's, if it's just athletics, then that's much worse. But uh, strength, <laughs> that'd be fourteen. Fourteen. My armor class okay. is fourteen. Oh, oh. Okay. Ooh. Do I have these benefits? Because I'm like I'm like I'm a, like a plus is there anywhere? Like my... I don't like ties because I always yeah. I, I, so I never know whether it goes to the runner or the hitter. No. I'm invisible. Uh, I think it goes. I think it goes to the hitter in this occasion. Should put it to a vote. That's the way I do it. Should put it to a vote. It's five of us. It's a tie, and I think if it's a tie when you're fighting, yeah, it's you close hit. enough. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so yeah, he shoves shove you. How, uh, just shove him again. Just as like not even like hard shove, but just like so get because he goes there. don't. Just because he goes don't push me around, so I just push him again. <laughs> push him <laughs> again. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you do that. Um, Jeff. Jeff. Have you? What is that? What is that thing in the corner? I don't know. Should I go check mm. it out? Uh, yes, please. I mean, it's I'm invisible. I'm glad so I'm in the room now. You're invisible, I mean. I'm going to wander over to the thing in the corner. Okay. The iron figure. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's a very big iron figure. He said it had writing on his chest. Can I read the writing? I don't know. What languages can you read? <laughs> no. Um, common, draconic, and silver. Mm, silver, I believe. But silver, um, yeah. Not, not how I pronounce it. Not, not where I come from, the dialect I got to read. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's, it's very close to silver, but it's a slight uh, twang twist. Sylvanian oh, okay. family. Spanish, Portuguese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sylvanian. That's, that's what you speak. Okay. Uh, um, does uh, it look like Dwarvish, or does it look like any of those languages that he mentioned? Hmm. Let me uh, let me consult the uh, let me consult the uh, the, the sheet that I have here. To... Hold on. Hold the line caller. Ah, talk, talk about yourselves because my my internet is being rubbish. Oh, we will. <laughs> so I think Sir Albert will kill her. Yeah, I think Sir Albert all with uh, Lady Foz. Yeah, she yeah. knew about it. She knew yeah, about it, but it happened. Before, wasn't it? Yeah. And, they, and then it she broke up with him. She broke up with Sir Albert Hall when she was having an affair because he ran out of money. And then suddenly he's about to inherit a shit ton of money by proxy because he dies, therefore it gets all left to his sister, which is essentially him. He's now minted again. And potentially start things up with Foz. She's obviously going to get a lion's share as well. It- he Everyone's did not mad. like him at all, and he wasn't surprised. And he even if you don't yeah. like somebody, if you hear that they've been killed, yeah, it's right. the what you know, about Vinny me. though? I don't think I don't know. I, There's still some of the smugglers it, as well. There's still it would some have going to, on. Yeah, There's, there is, a, there and is you know, you've got the monster, smugglers. the monster in the jungle, and you've also got the lack the the fact we that we haven't seen about um, piercing yet. Behind a big My, my yeah, operating no, theory is that the smuggling on. there was a there was a large smuggling you know there's that smuggling ring thing mm. and obviously the colonel was involved um brigadier general uh in- inquiry is involved as well um and albert hall says said he wasn't and he but he knew about it right so uh, Vinny Corpado it, was brought here to expose it and so, because he was going to expose it, because the colonel was going to expose it, that's why he was killed. So it might be Enquiry. Nah, or Karina Ash- ha- Ashet. Hachet. She's the, she's the loophole. I mean, not the loophole. She's the weird one. She has no link to yeah. anybody else. Well, we find well, seemingly, but then we haven't asked her any questions other than what's your favourite drink. Yeah, that's what yeah, Mal- Malrus is going to find out all about Karina Hachet. I, I believe in him in time. And Jeff. Jeff's going to lead that investigation, isn't he? <laughs> Leading's a strong Badly. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> I love hearing your thoughts. Oh, Sorry. Pre- very interesting. Previously now. on, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely love it. Uh, it's it's in Sylvan. Ah, Ooh. that's really handy. It's good news. It is handy. Because... Is it really? <laughs> but you only speak Sylvian, Jeff. <laughs> like I can pick up. It's very similar dialect. It's based from the same... Ah. Uh, roots. There's, yeah. roots. there's more acute accents in Sylvian. Yeah, yeah it's like Yorkshire but and Lancashire. Of... They're very similar. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just to annoy those two. <laughs> just upsetting yeah. Yorkshire and Lancashire now. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> so, uh, in a in in a that's in the Midlands for anybody that's, listening. Uh, that's not in the not... UK. <laughs> so, so, in a dialect of uh, of Sylvan that uh, you you just about understand, you see the words written. In this room, you will see that which is seen must not be unseen. But if it is hidden or otherwise disguised, I will not rest until truth or demise. I'm going to reread that because I felt like I read it far too quickly for my liking. and I didn't manage to get it all <laughs> taken in correctly. <laughs> okay. He, he's <laughs> scribbling in an invisible notepad with Is an it just, invisible I, pen. I want to just write it down in my mind's eye a little bit. Okay, fine, fine. It says, in this room, you will see. That which is seen must not be unseen. But if it is hidden or otherwise disguised, I will not rest until truth or demise. It's a caterpillar. Has to be. <laughs> Explain your logic. No. <laughs> okay. Fine. I don't need to. <laughs> right. Fine. <laughs> I'm not even there. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Last two lines are still a little bit fuzzy to me. Um, but you read them in a bit. Maybe. It sounds uh, like a, it sounds like a, an arcane, most horrible lie detector. 
Yes. You're taken into that room, well. and if you what? lie, you die. Jeff. Pretty much. Jeff. Jeff. What? What does I mean, it say? I mean, you see, Jeff. you seem to, to have this daydream of a thing that might happen. What's What's it say, Jeff? Um, <laughs> fuck me. It, it says entirety. It says not, I feel like, not oh, word for word. Just summarize it for oh. me. Yeah, I think that'd be really key at this point. A summary <laughs> of a riddle. Um, it's not really a riddle. Okay, well, I, I personally read it to believe that if I look at something in this room and then don't look at it, it's going to come get me. But I might have misread it. I, don't, I, I think, I yeah. think, and as Jeff explains word for word what he can read, <laughs> I uh, Derek thinks about it and goes, um, I think if you bring somebody in and they tell a lie... Um, this thing will activate and will be either get the truth out of them somehow or kill them. Um, so it might just batter people who are trying to disguise themselves. Or are there you know. any missing daggers from where? From this figure in the corner. You're not there. I know. I'm but just one. You're not there, and B. Who was talking about daggers? He's thinking well, about the murder. Weapon. I like the I'm system, thinking by about the murder of one weapon. and B. <laughs> <laughs> um, thinking about the murder weapon here, just sort of out of character. Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, we don't do investigation out of character. <laughs> Derek's going to walk into the room and go, This is basically what I mean, Jeff. My name is Derek Normalbeard. I'm going to walk into the room and say that. Okay, you do that. And it uh, turns to look at you and draws a very large looking iron sword and starts raising the sword as it steps towards you. I raise my hands. I raise my hands and go, that was a lie. Truthfully, my name is Derek Knee Smasher. What? And it puts its sword away and stands down. Did you not know See? that, Jeff? You don't mm. know that. No, we don't know that. Well, Jeff does. He does now. <laughs> Nate, oh. Derek, what? Hang on. <laughs> so much just happened, Derek. So, that, okay, I know. Okay, it's definitely See not. See what I mean, I, Jeff? It could yeah. be more plain. <laughs> no, I, I completely... You've, you've, you've made it very clear with the, 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 the man thing. You, what? So <laughs> the man you, thing. He... I just Jeff? don't lie. Yeah. Jeff? Yeah. It's looking at you. Um, uh, do I notice this is like a, say? Can I make an insight check? Roll perception. Yeah, roll perception. But I'm invisible. <laughs> what, what did you get? Uh, I got what? a uh, perception. Uh, yep. in, actually, it's a, an eleven. That's not too bad. It was a natural. Yeah, you mind. notice it. You notice it. Turn its head to look uh, in a different direction. Uh, Jeff, it's looking at you. Jeff, it's looking at you. But I'm invisible. I'm going to move. You, you don't know that it's looking at Jeff because you don't know where Jeff is. Oh, uh, right. Yeah. I'm, I, you just I, notice it move? turns to look away from you. I want to move to see if it follows me. Just move around the room a little bit and see if it follows me. Okay. Roll perception. Oh, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> For the viewers at home, Jeff has now revealed the dice sunk in the bottom of his glass. <laughs> my, uh, my perception. That's how we like to roll things here. Is 11. Eleven. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You, you notice its head it's turn to follow you. Derek, are you just, are you just drunk? And it was a natural one that you saw in double vision. <laughs> no, it's a nine and a one. Oh, big, big roll for the Jeff mice. It is a big roll for the Jeff. What Jeff a big mice. man! Um, Excellent, um, Derek. It's following. Why is it looking all about the Because it's what? following me. It can see me, even though I'm invisible. What I don't know what I'm lying about. Have I lied? You're disguised. All the damn time. <laughs> but the invisibility is a disguise, mate. So, but I'm not lying. That is a sort of a lie, because you are there. Can I leave the room, then? It's d yeah. You do what you want That's to do, I mean. mate. Do you need a wig? I leave the room, then. I'm not, okay. I'm not going to stay in the room if someone's going to kill me if I turn them invisible. I'm going to stay invisible. Okay. <laughs> you're, you're leaving it's, the room, yeah. right? Stop okay. moving now. Jeff? No, it hasn't. Has it not? No. So I, I keep walking out. It strides out of the door. It will, 
It will not rest. It will not rest, Jeff. Oh, this is bad. It will not rest. I'm legging it to the games room. Oh, God. Let's bring this beast out to play with Berkeley. <laughs> oh, nice. God. Okay, fast track. Okay. <laughs> I thought we were going to keep it in the... Oh, he's... Jeff, he's running. What? Yeah. Where are you? Keep up, Derek. Are you going to keep up with me? Because I was chasing me. Can you please try and catch up? Uh, I didn't get any get of, of that. The room. <laughs> Just stare at it's, uh... Tell you what, though. This would be a nice place for an interrogation. <laughs> 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 As we cut away from Derek in the room. <laughs> if only we'd have found <laughs> it sooner. I leg it. I want to leg it all the way. So I'm running... You're running All off, the and the uh, the iron figure has uh, stands in the room you ran away from, the uh, sort of ante room, the darker room outside the uh, interview style room. Mm-hmm. He's just fully just filling the doorway, just looking at where. He's just staring at the uh, the normal sized door uh, that is all of about seven feet tall, with his twelve foot tallness, looking at it. In the direction that uh, Jeff just ran away. I'll turn to him and shrug and go, I don't know what you want me to do, mate. Um, Smash it down. Duck. (laughs) He's gone out there somewhere. If you really want him and you can't rest, then... Right then, you swabs, it's time to drag yourself off the sofas. Wipe the last of the chocolate off your chins and listen in. (laughs) <laughs> Don't mind him. He's just upset about the extra weight he's put on over last night. It's me, James Yawn, dashing Dungeon Master, back for a brand new year of nautical japes and mischief. So, a new year has begun, and boy, is there some good stuff in the pipeline for you. Plenty has been discussed at Royal Britannia HQ between mouthfuls of mince pies and slurps of mulled wine about all the treats that we've got lined up for you. Why, I hear you ask? No, not because the pubs were closed, so we had nothing else to do. It's because you guys are doing your bit to get us over 18,000 downloads, which is amazing. Right. First shout out of 2021, and there's three. Firstly, to Kevin Bryant, who got in touch via Facebook. We love that you're enjoying the show so much. We're also very glad that you're getting our very unique brand of British humour. Thanks for listening. And to Joe and Karina Spickets, who sent us a fantastic photo via Twitter. You both look fabulous in your Royal Britannia hoodies. We may have found a new pair of merch store models. Mm. And lastly, and by no means leastly, from Malra's Derek, Jeff and I, we would like to give a massive birthday shout out to Keth, who's celebrating a lockdown birthday this Thursday. Thanks for being part of the team. Brace yourselves, everybody. It's time for the Random Celebrity Shout-Out! Oh, now, in 2021, we're going to turn over a new leaf. These shout-outs are going to be very carefully checked and cross-examined to ensure that they are the absolute truth. We nearly choked ourselves on our bottles of grog when the news came in, but kicking off 2021 with some big love for Royal Britannia are Joe Lysett and Sally Gunnell. That's the New Year's resolution gone. Yeah, no, we didn't. That, that, that might not be true. Probably isn't. Might be. You never know. Now, here at Royal Britannia, we love hearing from you. Which character do you relate to most? What are you enjoying most about the story? Do you have any fan theories? Or do you just want Jeff's number? No, Jeff. Jeff, stop. Stop messing about with my script. I I have the power to break more than your sheriff's badge, you know. So... If you want to get in touch, check us out on social media. We're absolutely everywhere. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Discord, possibly even MySpace. Is that still a thing? I don't know. So head on down so that you can ask us some questions, chat with other fans of the show, and maybe even bag yourself some schnazzer prizes. Wherever you do get your podcast from, while you're there, you can really help us by giving Royal Britannia a bright and glossy five-star review in the treacherous and savage world of D&D podcast land really does help more lovely people, just like you, to discover our show. And, as always, be doubly sure that you've battered that subscribe button, otherwise I will just tell Derek Krampus Normalbeard that you're on the naughty list. And the last thing you want is him appearing in your bedroom in the middle of the night. But that's enough from me for this week. You've got a murder to solve, so stop lazing around in my office, grab your gear, and get back out there. (laughs) 
Can we call him the Iron Giant? Yes, okay, you can mate, call him what very, you like. Not very talkative, are you, <laughs> Mister? Um, uh, I don't know, even know what Giants. It's, uh, <laughs> its face turns. Yeah, its face turns to look at you, and you see its uh, eyes light up with fire. Oh, um, dun, 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 I'm going to call you Billy. <laughs> <laughs> cool. No, Trevor. Oh. Trevor. Um, okay, Trevor. If you could just stand aside for me, please. I just need to go and uh, get get some uh, friends <laughs> to <laughs> get some help friends. me. He, I mean, he's not blocking the way. Oh, he's not blocking the way. I just walk past no. him. Um, I go, just stay there, Trev. Just stay there. Um, okay. I mean, and then it, as I'm coming back upstairs, I'm going to go into the of Fast Beach. I'm just going to basically... You're just guess. leaving the doors open? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All okay, right then. Not? He's, I'm not cool. going. I'm not going like fully out. I'm just going to go back up the stairs to the sort of games room entrance, uh, not games room, the study entrance thing. Yeah, yeah. Stone of Fast Speech to the other guys um, and go, um, lads. Uh, we might actually have um, quite a, a, like a nicer place to do the interrogation in. Uh, if you want to come check it out, Jeff and I <laughs> found some cool ass shit. Also, the body's gone, but. You'll want to be a friend of mine. <laughs> You'll want to be a friend of mine. His name's Trevor. He's, he's kind of sh- <laughs> quite shy, but big lad, Kef. So you'll probably get on with him. You like? Well, him, that sounds then, great. <laughs> I mean, I, bet I could beat him in an arm wrestle. I doubt it. Seriously, yeah, we'll, doubt we'll it. Maybe see. if you're a few inches taller. Maybe if you're a baller. <laughs> <laughs> if I had a girlfriend, then I would call her. <laughs> On a stone of far speech. <laughs> um, now there's right. a nice reference that no one else would think we would get. Um, I think a yeah, blood that's, vessel that's has just burst in the dungeon master's <laughs> eye. Oh, that's pretty much what I'm just going to do. I'm just then I'm just going to you know chill. <laughs> it's just okay. Yeah, wait for them to respond. Um, where's the action cutting to now? Is it well? <laughs> that didn't go anything like you expected it to. Did it? <laughs> of all the things I thought you might. Do. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna wet myself. Oh, we've broken the podcast. <laughs> of all the things oh, I thought you might fuck. do, I, I didn't have that on the list. <laughs> so. Yes, I your found. your what if list must be enormous for us. I mean, I mean, I try. <laughs> Nowhere on that list did it have Derek befriends the creature and calls him Trevor <laughs> and just strolls away. Let's <laughs> write that on the list for next time round. You know, always have to kill the monsters. Anything's a possibility. <laughs> New NPC. I love that they, managed, they got a Trevor. friendship built over a disdain for Jeff. <laughs> yeah he's a dick isn't he so yeah. I'm going to start walking back down the stairs with a cigar and just go so Trev <laughs> get out much do you <laughs> um, uh, as uh, okay, as you walk down the stairs you see uh, the automaton style creature that it is big metal robotic type thing uh, is sort of right up against the door now um, and has sort of bent down ever so slightly, trying to get his head through the door, and is sort of crashing into the wall who's, a little bit as he's who's trying. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Come on, come on, Trev, you can do it. Come on, mate. <laughs> Lots of people out here want to meet you. Come on, Trev. Um, roll perception. Oh, twelve. With a 12, you notice some cracks starting to appear in the ceiling. You hear the sound of cracking stone and you see a few pebbles and bits of rock drop down your feet. By the doorway? Uh, Sort of around you, yeah, where you're stood near the door. Was that you, Trevor? It wasn't me. 
No and... answer. Never mind. I f- keep forgetting that you're tongue tied or something. Lads, <laughs> stone a fast pitch again, a bit more urgently, and go, lads, it's all got a bit weird <laughs> down here. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, but I could use some backup. Well, what, what, what's happening? We found a, a secret passage room, and Jeff said it said something on this statue looking. It said that it's told a lie, didn't like it? It come after. Yeah, so I told it a lie to show Jeff that that's what it meant, uh, but it said it in some sort of you know flowery, you know purple way and uh uh so i said i told a lie i told a lie to (laughs) to to show jeff and then i told the truth afterwards we don't need to get into what that lie and the truth was but um yeah might be of interest to us um because i don't want to (laughs) malrus later later no not even later (laughs) i'm not gonna commit to that promise i just need you to come down here how did it go with the um, the super fan, by the way? Uh, shall I bring her with me? She might. Fuck it. Why not? <laughs> it point. might work. You know. <laughs> okay. Uh, as you're having this conversation, more bits of stone have started to drop around you. And as Trevor is uh, bashing his various bits of himself against by the, DM. The, uh, the brick wall... <laughs> Trevor, yeah, Trevor, yeah. stop, stop, stop. Uh, he totally ignores you and continues to bash himself uh, against this wall. Can I, would I be able to get through the doorway to him? To, uh, he to is the filling other side the, fill, fill, fill the he doorway. He is filling the doorway. And as you're stood there, he continues to bash his body and head and Trevor, arms I'm against over six foot wall. tall. Trevor, I'm over six foot tall. And <laughs> he looks at you, Ooh. and his eyes light up with fire and roll a dexterity saving throw. I will do. He said confidently. Yep. Yeah. Uh, 17. Uh, 17. With a 17, you just about dodge out of the way as a burst of fire erupts from his eyes. Oh, And uh, scorches the wall behind you. I'm just okay, Trevor, I'm not. I'm, I'm four foot five and a half, mate. Uh, and he resumes bashing himself against the wall and more and more Jeff, bits of stone Jeff, are falling. Jeff, I think you <laughs> fucked this <laughs> royally. I'm staying very quiet. I've gone back into the games room. I'm in the corner, like, squatting down. We don't know. We don't you know. Don't, there, they, do we? They don't Can know everyone that's in the games room roll a perception I check? I mean, I was under the impression that the door was shut. Oh, yeah. Did you open the door? So oh, yeah. Is, 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 You'd have to open the no. door so we see a ghostly the door open. The doors are all open, aren't they? The door to the games room. The door to the games room, yeah. I thought it was open. It was kicked down, the door to the games room. Oh, the door to the games room. The door room. to yeah. the office yeah. was removed by the lockpick. Yeah. Well, unless Keth has just gone full, like, kicked down every door. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. Um, people in the, yeah, the games room door's shut, yeah, I think so. Oh, then, yeah, I would have opened it to go in. So I, the door would have been really gone. Back there, so, hey? Yeah. Yeah, the door would have just been open, would just flung open, and then I'd have gone into it. I wouldn't have closed it. I want the thing to follow. <laughs> okay, uh, roll perception check then, please. All of you us three. in the room. Yeah, you three, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Me, me as well? Okay. Nice. Yes, you're there. <laughs> Trevor, bad Trevor. That wasn't very nice of you. 18. <laughs> I got Dust myself off. 15. 11. Eleven. Uh, okay, uh, Maurus and Keth, you hear off in the distance the sound of uh, what sounds like building work going on. The sound of uh, <laughs> oh, no. construction sound of going on next door. You know, made oh, the glasses tinkling. Oh, yeah. Capital yeah, radio like being played. Ter- terrible jokes being <laughs> yeah. made. Yeah, yeah. The sun yeah. being red. Uh, air yeah. whistling through an exposed ass crack. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> Whistling. Yeah, yeah. Um... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Twelve and... sugars, darling. Transit vans, <laughs> polystyrene cups, bacon sandwiches. And the sound of uh, Batman being played from a terrible, yeah. terrible van uh, selling sandwiches, yeah. And 
Derek, as you're there, more and more bits of stone have started to fall. Roll a dexterity saving throw, please. Uh, cool. After this dexterity save, I'm going to just make my way back to the um, back into the. Uh, um, basically, I want to r- run back up to the the uh, study, um, and uh, my dex save was not good. It was a nine. Okay. Oh, hold on. Nine... My dex save. Sorry, that's uh, sorry. I'm just doing the stat. Um, my dex save plus six. So seven plus six is what thirteen. You die. You take two bludgeoning damage as a piece of rock catches you in the shoulder. Oh, ah, you bastard. Um, I'm going <laughs> to stagger, run up to um, through the, the office. F- you know, I fucked everything off um, through there. I can't be bothered to cover my tracks. I'm going to run straight into the games room, barge in, like open, the, fling the door open, hopefully. I mean, it's already open. Oh, is it still open? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, Jeff didn't close it. Nope. Um, sw- swing the door open. And go, Mad- Malrus, have you got to dispel magic? Just covered in dust and like soot. <laughs> Bloody shoulder. Uh, what, what is, what's going on? I literally told you over this. Is your stone of fast speech on airplane mode again? What's an airplane? What's an airplane? <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> they just have this mode. I don't know what it means. Brooms to a- danger. Danger. What's going on? Why are you covered in dust? What the hell is um, that noise? What's that just racket? come and have a look. I can't... Ex- you wouldn't believe me if I explained it. I already have explained it and you don't believe me. So just come and fucking have a look, please. Right, let, <laughs> let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Um, Lady Hansworth Wood, you stay here. Don't move. Oh. Is Burke okay. Fish in the room as well? Uh, he is, <laughs> yes. Mr. <laughs> Fish, I've got something that might be useful to your investigation. Oui, monsieur. Wait, 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 wait. Where's the Lord? Oh, yeah, that also happened. I did tell you we'd noticed that he was gone, but, you know, we sort of were more I mean, curious. your coat's still glowing as well. <laughs> it's just like folded, crumpled jacket. Uh, Jeff did this to me. He's probably <laughs> invisible somewhere nearby here. You know, be very like him. So, Maris, if you've got to dispel magic, don't even use it on the uh, thing that's trying to murder me right now because it's actually going after Jeff, which is amazing. There's um, a what? Just... just Use it to dispel Jeff's invisibility, please. And then I can punch it so I can hit him as hard as I can. Can I hear this and leave the room? I feel like I would not want to be in that room anymore. Uh, I'm, I'm standing in the doorway. Uh, okay, roll... Okay, I'm um, Dexterity? Uh, it's an action. I mean, it's not really sleight of hand, this. is it? So, Just, I don't know. Uh, for me or Jeff? Uh, for Jeff to sneak past you. I'm just... Oh, don't worry, Derek. What? Don't fucking worry. It's me, bro. I mean... Sleight of hand, yeah? If you leave the room, I can stealth, still get Stealth, I you, guess. Mate. Just roll stealth. Oh, stealth. Stealth is better for me. Yeah, roll stealth. Stealth. Uh, That's as close as I can get. Nine. <laughs> there he is, the, the bugger. <laughs> Derek, roll perception, I guess. Oh, then roll perception. Do us yeah. three no, no. roll perception. Derek will oh. roll perception. Oh, okay. Uh, 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 <laughs> Eleven. If it's... Yeah, no, you you feel him try and push past you. I just just grab him. <laughs> like a, Maurus, like, dispel like his magic. The invisible man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just, just wrestling. I, can I try and get out? Just can wrestling air. Can I try and wiggle free? Maurus. Uh, well, if we're going to be having a fight, you are going to have to. If this is going to be a fight, you're going to roll initiative. <gasps> please, please, gents. Yeah, please. I want to wiggle free. If he's grabbing me and saying, "Fine, yeah, I, I, I want initiative." <laughs> Hang on, wait, wait. <laughs> Who's fighting against who? I'm fighting against Jeff. If all Key of you off. roll initiative, um, all and then us. you can choose to take... Just right, all of you roll initiative. initiative. So, this is our first so, fight, What the guys? hell's going on? All right, uh, I'm totally in for this. Cool. <laughs> 13. <laughs> I was not expecting this. Uh, uh, 18. Oh, 18. I got a 7. Eight, 18. 14. Initiative. 7. I got 11. So, no, it's, I didn't, no, so 13, 13, 13. Not that it makes any difference, but... Yeah, okay, that's fine. Good news, you're going yeah, first. Yeah, I know. The two people um, who want to fight me are going to go before me. So, Derek, you Do have... Do you want to roll initiative uh, for have... Trevor as well? <laughs> <laughs> you have... He's uh, downstairs. You have Jeff in a grapple. What's your, what's uh, your plan? I have him in a grapple. Wicked, I'm going to hit him as hard as I can where I think his head... Or where I feel that his head could be or should be. Okay, um, roll to hit with advantage, I guess. Uh, What's uh, happened to us, guys? Why has he got an advantage? Because he's holding you. I'm also invisible. It's true, it does cancel out. Okay, so no advantage, but no disadvantage. Yeah, that's fine. I'll take that. 
That's a natural 20. <laughs> natural 20. Oh, double damage is coming up. Um, double damage. So, yeah, I'm just, just bare-fisted, non-lethal damage. I'm going to hit him as hard as I can. Right in the um, ear. In the ear. It's really bad 20. in the ear. What's... What would what's my damage dice for my unarmed? Uh, I I usually roll a d4 for okay, unarmed, unless you're a monk, and then you do it's one d6 plus four, I think. Uh, oh wow! Because it's like your proper attack. <laughs> Three points of damage, oh. uh, doubled to six. Doubled, so six. Yeah. And so, so you take his, six bludgeoning damage. I think his concentration check would have to be a sixteen, yes. or a thir- or a thirteen actually, because it's half the damage. So my my concentration. I have to roll a concentration yeah. check. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. So I roll between either wisdom or Constitution, I can't remember. It's Constitution. I think. Oh, natural one. <laughs> so Jeff, so you smack him as hard as you can, <sighs> right in the ear roll, and he pops into existence. Ow! <laughs> That's really me. I, I just keep, I keep hold of him, um, and <laughs> okay. oh, free. Whoa. With my free action as a talk. No, it's, it's still initiative, mate. Yeah, With still my free go. action, um, it's still my go. Uh, I am going to. I'm just trying to think what else I can do. Um, <laughs> what else I can do? Yeah. Shall I prepare yeah. to speak with the dead? <laughs> <laughs> it might be wise, Balrus. Um, I'm going to say with my fr- with my free talking action, I'm just going to say to him, oh, actually, hold on. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, is, any, is anybody else within five feet of Jeff? <laughs> Bercules. Um... Berculefish. Yeah, Burkules are not uh, Burkules five feet from uh, five feet from the door. Wicked, because that would give me um, sneak attack damage, <laughs> which is three d six. Crack into it then. Uh, eight. Uh, what, what has happened nine to total. us, guys? Nine total. So, uh, what, uh, that would have fif- been 18. 15, 15? Yeah, fifteen total damage. Nine, nine plus six because yeah. it was six originally. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So there fifteen points of damage to him, and then with my free talk damage, action, I'm going to go. That's what you get for leaving me in a room <laughs> with a metal behemoth. And turns out, actually, he's quite a nice chap. Not that you'd know, <laughs> you cowardly bastard. And I'm just going to throw him to the floor. Okay. Oh, um, okay so Maris is going. I mean, Maris is going. <laughs> uh, I mean, if we're if if everyone who's involved in this wants to continue this fight, then yes, it's Maris is go. If everyone <laughs> concedes to just letting it go now, then it's then it's Look at him. whoever wants he to go. But... So angry. He pushed me in the room first. I want to fucking have him back on this one. You, he you lit me... my bloody jacket. So Nobody he can touches see. me and does magic on me without me knowing. <laughs> what is this I... metal behemoth that you're talking about? Go and look at him. He's bloody downstairs. His name's Trevor. Hang on. Are He's we finishing this fight? I want to be honest. I want to be honest with him. What's going, Maurus? You doing anything here? Maurus, it's your go. Yeah, um, go, go on, Jeff. Man. Can you roll a Constitution saving throw? Bring please? it on, <laughs> <laughs> Jeff. How much health have you got left? Doesn't matter, right? How does it? I'm not telling you. Okay, fine. It's all good. Fine. It's all good. I'll let you know. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a Constitution saving throw. Uh, oh, that's really good. That's eleven. Oh God. No, it's not. <laughs> That's not going to do it. <laughs> it's not going to do it. In the words of the um, dungeon master. It's not I'm going to blind you. No, I wanted to do that to Derek. I wanted to do that to Derek. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> the fucking irony. It really is. Do you remember when you did like, that to me? Look, look at the app. Look at what I've got on my phone. Open. Blindness, deafness. Literally sat here waiting to do this spell, checking I can do it. No. Right, fine. I'm blind. I'm blind, and I don't know how much HP I've got. All right, let's continue this. What else are you doing to me, Maurus? Um, Maurus, it. you you realise now, by the way, um, because I would technically be unseen by Jeff, it would give me sneak attack damage on all of my next attacks. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> hey! I've lost a minute, though. Am I right, Maurus? Yeah, but, yeah, a, mi- but yeah, a minute is yeah, yeah, 10 rounds of combat. Yeah, I appreciate it. It's a yeah. lot of time in combat. For us, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. What else are you doing? What um, else are you doing, Maris? Maris, are you, are you done? Um, I, I just want to be like, can, can we all just calm down, guys? I'm perfectly what on earth is going calm. On? Who's downstairs? Um, okay. And what's that noise? <sighs> There's an iron man downstairs. I don't know if he's some sort of 
collection of other <laughs> characters. <laughs> <laughs> or if, you know, he built the suit himself or whatever. But... Or like Power Rangers. <laughs> yeah, I'd, so, uh, what, uh, Iron Man. Uh, is that, you're a ranger. Are you going to become a Power Ranger? It's, uh, don't get me started. There's a man downstairs who's trying to I'm remodel the basement, now. okay? Um, <laughs> oh, God. Can I make everyone go to hey. sleep? It's not your turn. <laughs> it's not your Is turn it still Maris's go? And then it's yeah. my go. And you're just chatting. Yeah. <laughs> <You're still> got... <laughs> I mean, it's still got movement and stuff, so... Um, and, and with that, I'm going to go to the the entrance of the basement. See what the hell's going on. That means I've got to move out of the way. I'll look at Jeff scornfully and graciously let Malrus pass. So all of that's happened <laughs> so Malrus before is I dropping dropping out. to do anything. Uh, speech is a movement. free action and can happen speech at any time. Action. And that yeah. and his movement, yeah. <laughs> He's entitled to his movement in his turn. <laughs> but Derek's um, still there. I mean, that does make it. Uh, that does make it chip. Derek's gun. still there, right? Yeah. So Jeff, Jeff, you're right. On. I want to oh, yeah. just. Um, but you are blind. I want to put <laughs> yeah. everyone who is. So everyone, everyone other than Maris is within a twenty foot radius of me. Yes, as is Bergil yeah. Fish and Lady yeah, Hans. Yeah, bear in mind. Yeah. Um. I mean, you've lost okay. your mind. How does, how does uh, it work? Spell sends creatures into mind. a magical slumber. Roll 5d8. The total, this is a bit I'm not quite sure on. The total is how many hit points of pre, hit points of creatures this spell can affect. So if I roll 5d8 okay. and then there's how many people I can hit, yeah? Uh, well, it's the total hit points you yeah. can hit, but yeah. Right, okay. Sorry. Yeah, I think you believe you have to get a person's total hit points in one yeah. person. Yeah, yeah, you do, yeah. Yeah. And casting it at higher levels allows you to use it on more than one target. So you're just targeting me, I believe, right? I'm on target every year. Then you have to, so you're going to cast it at as higher levels as you can. Uh, How does the spell out? Higher, does the spell actually say it's radius or is it per target? Uh, creature, uh, creatures within a 20 feet of the point you choose. Oh, so it is a radius. Yeah, so yeah. I want to choose. So just a total of creatures that, yeah. within a, so you can more than one person. It's creatures, yeah. Yeah, but uh, up to uh, a in total. In ascending order of their current hit points, ignoring unconscious creatures. Ascending, so you start with the, the lowest yeah. and go yeah. to the highest, right? Okay, um, and so if, if you roll like 30, it. then anyone who's got a hit points lower than 30 in that radius falls asleep. No, 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 um, no. and also because I can roll at a higher level, like Derek's saying, I use a spell slot of uh three that I can roll an additional four d8, so it's actually a total of nine d8. Oh, so it just gives you more, it gives you it two additional d8 per more time up you go, yeah. but you're still like you'll get a final number. So yep. you get and that so is if the total gets, amount. He rolls like fifty, right? Yeah. Um, I've I've got a certain amount of hit points. Um, you've got say like say if you had twenty hit points and I had thirty hit points, you would get put to sleep first, mm-hmm. and and um, I rolled then forty I would get in put total. To but if I had thirty five, he wouldn't be able to put me to sleep. He'd have to forty in total. Sleep. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, so that puts Burkule. And Lady Hansworth would immediately to sleep. And what's uh, the Derek and Keth? What are your hit points? Total max. So my total Four. max hit point. There's current yep. current hit points. Yeah. Uh, okay. Your okay. current hit points. Is it current or is it max hit points? Uh, creatures hit points. Oh, okay. Cool. Current. Okay. Forty-two. How much damage did I? Forty-two. You took. Nice. I haven't taken any damage. I had to sleep. Hmm. Uh, I think you took two bludgeoning damage. Two bludgeoning damage. Okay. Um, so that would bring my current hit points to... My max hit points, if we were doing max, is 41. <laughs> <laughs> um, my current is 39. Okay. And, Keth, what's yours? 42. Yeah, no, neither of those two go to sleep. There's not enough hit, <laughs> There's not enough magic points. <laughs> so you've literally just knocked out Belkiel Fish though, and Lady Hansworth. Even Hands though the point of direction is civilians. by Derek. <laughs> yes. But it goes yeah, in ascending, ascending order. order. So they've got re- they're really weak as shit people, basically. So I would assume they've got yes. like one each. Well, they're NPCs. The minimum, right? so. <laughs> I'm sorry. So was fucking Balon, and he wasn't weak as shit. True. True. Yeah, but he was also he was also a boss. So yeah, he wasn't like a little old lady that was just a fan of Malvers's <laughs> and a curly mustached investigator who's very well dressed. So hold on, a, a blinded Jeff just hears boom, boom. <laughs> But he doesn't know who he's put to sleep. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You don't know who's fallen asleep. And he's hoping that not it's not grappled? a half I thought I was still being grappled by Derek. <laughs> no, I pushed you to the floor. Uh, no, you're on the floor. I crawl away. 
in the direction that I, uh, the opposite direction to the thuds. And straight uh, into a wall. Why are you running so, away from everything? If you towards Kef, out, then, I suppose. The Leviathan. <laughs> towards Daddy Kef. No, I'm, I'm, I'm pissed at uh, Derek for doing all this and Malrus now, so I'm fucking off. <laughs> all I did was what, get pushed into a room, read out what the fuck happened, at which point you pointed out what happened, and then it turned on me, I legged it, and I suddenly were getting the shit kicked out of me by you lot, so you can fuck off! I'm out of here! <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> he crawls I haven't done anything. Into a wall. You, wonder, you wonder why I occasionally lose my shit with you guys. You just bully me. I think you're fine, Jeff. You oh pulled God. a bunch of pranks on just a random woman and Maurus, contributed <laughs> nothing to the investigation. Except for making him invisible whatsoever. so we can sneak into someone's bedroom and find out some key information for us. Oh, yeah, we forgot about that bit, didn't we? Thank you. <laughs> Can I can I just hear random shouting from the other room whilst Look, I'm just yeah. <laughs> I I'm gonna get I would like to uh are we I assume we're out of combat now unless Keth Yeah is yeah I didn't get it. Do you wanna go, go. Keth everyone yeah, else? Might as well, Keth. Fuck you, <sighs> kick me. Come on, do it. See if you can knock me out. I you know you know how much health I've got there. You could do well, it, big I man. Don't, well, Keth doesn't have a beef with you. Neither did Malrus. I, <laughs> He's Keth just doesn't know the entire room. room. Just to be honest, I just blinded you because I wanted you to shut up. So you, you <laughs> blinded me to <laughs> shut me up. So, to summarise so what everybody... So, Akira, Paul, out of character here, if someone suddenly made you blind, that would make you silent. You wouldn't be like, what the fuck just happened? Oh my god, I am blind, I can't see, what... No, but if I made you deaf, you would have made as much noise anyway, so I just thought I'd at least take your most valuable thing away, your sight. <laughs> and now you've made it out <laughs> Take your most valuable thing away. Oh, that's funny. That is right, funny. so what Keth has seen, I was in a room with Lady Hansworth. About to do I just wanted to calm it down. Fish. Then the door swung open for no reason. Um, there was a lot of strange phone calls. Then... Derek ran in, all dusty and <gasps> really pissed off with Jeff. Then Jeff appeared. Then they were grappling and there was a punch I grappled to the him, face. Then punched him, then he appeared. Yeah, he was and then Malrus turned him blind. Then Lady Hansworth was... I left the room. <laughs> you disappeared. You went <laughs> blind. <laughs> Goodbye. And then Lady and Mercule fell asleep. Yep. And I'm just Shit, left... By Chip, by the way, this has got to be your previously on Roll Britannia for this episode. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just trying to piece it all together. Well, it's all yeah, done for you. Just like, Ke- Kev's just looking left and right at all of this. And I'm going to pull out my pistol and just fire it into the air to finish all this ridiculous and just go boom and shoot oh, a hole in the ceiling. That would shut me up. Amazing. That is amazing. I go, right. That is enough. Um, <laughs> what is this metal leviathan? Why are you crawling around, covering your eyes? What is your two, you two, just sort this out? And what the hell is that metal beast that you're talking about downstairs? And I'm, slowly, I'm worried about this bloke called Trevor as well. <laughs> I'm going to slowly approach Jeff. I'm going to hear the questions, slowly approach Jeff, get really close to him, really uncomfortably close, and go, kiss him. You're better than me. I'm going to blindly swing at the noise that's just randomly appeared by my ear because I'm blind and just fucking twat away at it. Uh, cool. I rolled it at 11 to hit. My, my armor class is a 30. Yeah. And also you'd have to roll at disadvantage because you are blind. Can he slap himself in the face? <laughs> I'll catch his wrist and throw it back down and go, ever since you got magic, you've become insufferable. You're better than this, <laughs> Jeff. You used to be a fighter. Jeff the Bobber, Keth used to call you. You killed a Kraken the first time I bloody met you, right? <laughs> now, all you do is turn invisible and run away. Sort yourself out, mate. <laughs> and then I'll just leave the room. <laughs> Please remember our buccaneers are sold in a case, but somehow they managed to slow down the pace. Deep in the basement, they find an iron feller. The Derek Joy befriending one, named him Trevor. He's now hunting Jeff, but stuck making rubble. Derek gets shot and heads upstairs to make trouble. 
The young lord gets beaten and put in his place. Blinded and bloody, just an utter disgrace. Will our group make up and avoid the living lie detector? We all find out next time on Row Britannia. Sports Social Podcast Network. Introducing Carvana Value Tracker, where you can track your car's value over time and learn what's driving it. It might make you excited. Whoa, didn't know my car was valued this high. It might make you nervous. Uh Uh-oh, market's flooded. My car's value just dipped 2.3%. It might make you optimistic. Our low mileage is paying off. Our value's up. And it might make you realistic. Mm, Car prices haven't gone up in a couple weeks. Maybe it's time to sell. But it will definitely make you an expert on your car's value. Carvana Value Tracker. Visit Carvana.com to start tracking your car's value today.